What is going on guys welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be talking about three vapes that I've been using in the urban scene to go out catch a few fish have a good time this winter has been very very tough in the urban scene when it comes to fishing but I've been having a few of you guys message me on Instagram and leaving comments on YouTube to make a video about some of the top baits I've been using to catch fish on I've caught fish on a multitude of baits this winter because I've had to switch it up a lot to figure out what the fish are wanting but I figured out and narrowed down three baits that I have caught the most fish on during this winter season and trust me it's been tough if you guys are struggling you're not the only one there's been a few days that I've gone out and have had absolutely no luck so don't feel bad but we're gonna get started with the number one bait that I've been using and the majority of you guys know that I love throwing grubs grubs are a great go-to because anything eats a grub and what better way to throw than a SW grubby from fat pack baits this is newly released it is a two inch grub most grubs are gonna work in any sort of canal any sort of pond because it resembles any sort of shad baby bass baby carp tilapia etc I love throwing these things in the canals because they look so natural and so realistic you don't have to do a whole lot to it throw it up in the current and let the current do the work the current is naturally gonna kick that little curly tail and you're probably just gonna get bit as your grub is flowing through the current essentially and I love fishing these things because they're so versatile you can you can just let it drop to the bottom and fish it like a Ned rig and just slowly drag it in or you can cast it out let it hit the bottom and keep it as low in the water column as you can and just do a super slow retrieval and you should be able to whack at least a couple bass on it I love these things though because they catch everything bass crappies bluegills yellow bass I've caught carp on them by accident, catfish, every, everything eats a grub. Absolutely everything does. And that's what's so exciting when you're fishing with them. And that is why I got Jesse from Fat Pack Baits to create a grub because grubs are so versatile and I feel like they're kind of overlooked, especially in the bass industry. But I catch the majority of my bass, especially in the urban scene, on grubs. And during the spawn, you throw a little grub on a bed, they're, they just swim right up to it and grab it. There's no hesitation. It's not like a jig where you're fiddling. I mean, they literally get pissed off. They see the grub, they grab it, you're on, and you're done. They are very, very underrated. So make sure you check out the Southwest Grubby on Fat Pack Baits. He currently only has Ghost Minnow up, but he's going to be putting the Pearl White, uh, Electric Chicken, and a couple other colors up within the next couple weeks. So stay tuned for that. But any sort of grub, go out, whack a few fish, and have a good time. The next bait... I'm sure most of you have actually fished this bait, and this bait is so freaking versatile. It is so freaking awesome to fish and so much fun because if you're a fisherman that likes to drag a jig, it works for that. If you're a fisherman that likes to retrieve and get those moving bites, it works for that. And that is the Dark Sleeper. I love throwing the little 3 8 to a quarter ounce this time of year. The lighter, the better. Make it look as natural as possible. I love this specific color because it looks good in just about every water clarity. You can fish this exact color in clean water, dirty water, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna get a bite on it. It balances so well in the water column and just that little paddle tail is kicking, so creating just enough vibration through the water column to get those bass to attack. If you're not catching them when you're retrieving it, cast it out, let it sink to the bottom, and literally just drag it. Drag it maybe about five feet, reel up the slack, let it sit there, dead stick it, let it sit there for 5-10 seconds. That is how I've been getting a lot of bites this year. It is literally just letting the bait sit there. And then right as you start to move it, that's when you'll feel the bite. And then obviously let the fish do its thing, eat it, set the hook, and you're on. But you gotta love these things. These things are absolutely deadly. They work in canals, ponds, creeks, rivers, lakes. They're so versatile. So if you have not ever fished with a dark sleeper, which I think most of us have, but if you have not, check them out. There's a bunch of different colors. They sell these suckers over at Copper State. And you guys will not regret it because you will catch absolutely anything that you want on it. I've caught bass, crappies, catfish, bluegills. Everything eats this thing. It is a very, very fun bait to fish. And I almost always recommend it to anybody if you're struggling fishing just about anywhere it's such a finesse bait but it also can be aggressive because you can jerk it on the bottom and make it look like a dying bait fish it's just so versatile it's phenomenal and last but not least man this bait is honestly the number one bait that i've been catching the majority of my fish on and that is the five inch senko from fat pack baits this is the fat bat green pumpkin blue flake i freaking love this color you can fish it in murky water you can fish it in clean water it has just enough darkness to show that silhouette if the water is a little bit murky but it looks phenomenal in clear water too very versatile i love this bait it has such good movement on it you can see each end of it just barely bouncing i'm trying my best to not move it all i'm doing with this is using a size one 
wacky rig hook right there obviously most of us know how to wacky rig just pin it right through essentially the egg sac and just let it sit there just like that it's just going to quiver in the water column you cast it out there and i'm not fishing this how i typically would where you're casting it out let it sink for a few seconds pop 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 and doing that i am literally letting it sink all the way to the bottom casting it out as far as i can let it hit the bottom and i'm just dragging it drag it drag it drag it and then i'll do one pop out of maybe a 15 20 yard cast i will drag it 10 yards and then i'll do one pop let it dead stick which means essentially just let it sit there for five to 20 seconds whatever and then start dragging it again and i'm getting bit treating it almost like a jig it is phenomenal it is hands down what i've been catching pretty much all my fish on this winter and honestly I'm super surprised because that is not what I expected I did not expect to drag a Senko and catch a bunch of fish uh, I have a canal video coming up where I mean I caught like 10 12 fish on it in about an hour just dragging it so stay tuned for that video I have a couple videos where I was catching fish in the urban scene on the southwest grubby so those will be linked below if you want to check those out uh, the dark sleeper also got a couple videos of those those will be down below as well other than that fishing has been tough it's, it's not like a phenomenal time of year to fish it's very tough the fish when that water gets cold they just kind of get stagnant they don't really want to move too much they want an easy meal um i haven't even caught anything on a drop shot really i've caught a couple bass but typically the drop shots go to just about anywhere you fish this time of year i cannot get a bite on a drop shot don't know if it's me Maybe you guys are slaying on the drop shot. Maybe I just suck, but I can't catch anything on it. Uh, hands down, that Senko. Try that out. Cast it out, let it sink to the bottom, and drag it in. And in your entire retrieval, only pop it maybe once or twice. And then after the pop, let it just sit there. You will get a bite 100%. The Dark Sleeper, you can retrieve it. You can uh, fish it like a jig and drag it in. Give it a couple pops here and there. Um, also, with the Southwest Grubby, you can fish it like a Ned Rig, which is phenomenal. And the great thing with Fat Pack Baits is his baits don't have too much salt in it. So that little curly tail stands straight up in the water column. And when you're fishing it in the canal, the current is actually making the, the curly tail move on its own so you're not having to do any sort of work you literally fish it like a ned rig let that let that tail stand up and just drag it in just like a ned rig no pop and no nothing keep it very simple um very slow you got to be patient to fish like this this time of year is going to test your patience i am very impatient i like spinner bait bites crank bait bites top water that is what i love doing that is what gets my juices flowing to go fishing and during the winter it is tough to get out and go fish because I know I have to be patient in order to do it. But if you get good at fishing this time of year, you're probably going to be a way, way better fisherman during spring, summer, and even fall. Because if you could test your patience this time of year and still pull a few fish, those hot muggy days during the summer, you know you can do it then too. Same with fall and spring. You know, you're looking at a giant bass on a bed. If you can be patient this time of year, you could be patient to try to catch that giant bass that's sitting on that bed, whether you're fishing Pleasant, Roosevelt, Bartlett, wherever. This time of year, test your patience, but it also allows you to become a better fisherman in my opinion so those are the three baits i hope they help you guys um a, another bait that i've caught a couple fish on is the meps you can use a rooster tail a panther martin it's essentially the same thing i just like meps they don't twist up as much and i think that the blade runs a little bit better that's just my personal opinion um haven't caught too many fish on that but i have caught a few so i figure i throw that in there as well but i hope you guys enjoy the video please make sure to like subscribe hit the bell notification we will see you guys next time on southwest fishing